So in the last screen, we were, or in the last video, we were able to set up um, registration and we went in and did additional profile details. This particular um, little video is talking about the dashboard. So after you register for the first time, you'll be taken to your caregiver dashboard. And this little lady here, she's so cute with the plus, this essentially is just telling you that you haven't really done anything on that screen yet. It's like an empty state. So anytime you use the application, if you see sort of a, a photo here with someone, it's usually showing you an empty state, meaning that there isn't anything done here and you need to do some stuff. So we're gonna say tap the button to tell us more about your carry, and that's the person that you want to help take care of with the application. And tap, touch, tap, all of those mean the same thing. And whenever you see this addition sign here, <clears throat> throughout the application, that's your add button. So if we click add carry profile here, we're gonna go ahead and click on that. Um, we're gonna come to the carry profile. Now very similar to when we were setting up our own profile, you'll see our workflow up here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps. And we're on the very first step. So the first thing we're being asked is, are you setting up a self-managed team where you are the carry? So essentially this means, are we setting up a team for ourselves? So I'm gonna set up an app and I wanna just take care of my own calendaring and I wanna have my own invites and I wanna have my own data stored and later maybe I'll go ahead and add another carry. And then that's possible. It's a nice way to be able to actually get started and use the app. But since that kind of pre-populates a bunch of things for us, I'm gonna say no, I am not the person I'm caring for so that we can walk through. So, um, so yes or no. So I click on no, and now I'm in the carry profile. So the first one is salutation. So I am Mrs. and I'm going to enter my first name. So um, the first name of the carry. So who are we gonna care about? Let's care about um, Chloe. And Chloe's last name is um, Badger. Why not? Now, social security number is not a required field, okay? So if you can turn it on or off to be visible, let's say we put in a fake number, when we put it on, if you click here, you are able to actually see the, the social security number. And if you turn off, you're not able to see it. Um, the only reason that social security number is in here for the carry profile is like, say you're caring for your mom or your dad and you wanted to set up like energy assistance for them, they require you to have certain information and one of those is a social security number. And they also require you to have like power of attorney documentation, which later when you look at the app might be stored in the file cabinet. But um, for right now, we're just going to leave that blank to show you don't have to put that in there if you don't want to. Because again, your information is very important to us and your privacy and security are. So if you don't want to, don't. And so we're going to assume Chloe is a gal's name. So she's female. And I'm going to just skip date of birth this time because I don't really want to have to put it in. I could either cancel. So cancel would take me back to the main dashboard. I could hit the left arrow here and also go back to the main dashboard. Or I can click next, which I'm going to do because I want to see what the next thing is. Now, as um, with the profile photo for ourselves, if we're going to add a Carrie's photo, we tap here to click and add a photo. So I'm going to go ahead and tap. You can cancel or select. Now, in this case, I'm going to also pick another cute one. Maybe, um, yeah, Chloe can be a crab sometimes. So we're going to pick Chloe. So Chloe's a crab, and uh, she is now our new photo. Again, previous would take us back, so will the back button, or we can click next. As we go to next, this is the address of the carry. Now, the only time that is really important that you put that in here is if everyone on the helper team doesn't already know the address of the carry, or let's say the carry doesn't live with you. Maybe your mom, you're helping a lot with your mom, but she's still living independently. And maybe your brother Bob sometimes goes and visits, but not a lot. Then you might want to go ahead and put mom's address in there. Or, um, But in this case, we're just going to skip it to show that you can. So previous or next. But just like with the profile screens before, let's say we hit a specific character. We can use that to select um, the state if we want to. Uh, same thing with the country. But we're going to skip it and we're going to hit next. Then you can put in mobile phone. This is a good place to put in um, contact details specific to the carry if you want other people contacting them. So here you'll notice a primary email address was not filled in, and that's because in the first the profiles when we're setting our own up, that was our login. 
But in this case, the carry doesn't have a login. They're the person that we're taking care of. So if you want them to be contacted via email or you want other people to have their phone number or their email address, so when they're going to maybe pick mom up to go to the senior center, they can give her a quick call to make sure she's ready. This is a great place to put that. And just like with the prior one, uh, everyone in the world's gonna be calling my own personal phone, huh? Um, same thing, it's gonna um, default to a plus symbol and the reason it's formatting that way is for internationalization. So in the future when we add additional languages, it will allow us to be able to do that without having to change the format. If you don't put enough numbers in, it will tell you it's not valid, so then that way you know once you fix it, um, it is now a valid phone number. And you can put their work or other in case they have those as well. Again, previous takes you back. This button takes you back. But if you click the next button, we can move on to the next one. Now this is a screen that we didn't see in our own personal profile because it's very specific to the person we're caring for, the carry. So this is the financial power of attorney. So you wanna to toggle this button on if the legal paperwork designating the carry's financial power of attorney has been done. And once you do turn it on, the intent is that you actually put that person's name in there. So let's say this is Kelly um, Gonzalez, and um, I can't spell, so Gonzalez. And that is so that other people that are trying to help with the carry will actually know who the power of attorney is. Now in the terms and conditions that you entered, you did indicate that, that you have permission to be sharing information about the carry. And usually that permission is granted by either a financial or medical power of attorney. So in a lot of cases, this is really just your, your name and other people may not need to know, in which case you can go ahead and just keep it off. But if you turn it on, you know, put in some kind of name, it somehow now makes it required, right? So Kelly, um, let me find a new name. Because you turned it on, it's a required field. Same thing, medical power of attorney. A lot of people have financial power of attorney be like Uncle Bob, who's super great with numbers, but they have the medical power of attorney be like Cousin Carl, who's like a really, really good, um, really, really good um, medical guy, and then they, he could be the medical power of attorney. And so that would be where you would put that. But you can toggle it off too if you don't want to put that person in. And then DNR is the do not resuscitate. It's simply a checkbox on or off. It's an easy indication for anyone that might be in a situation where they need to know that. So at this point, you can either go back or previous or next, whichever you work, whatever works for you. But if you go next, um, we're going to be finishing up. So similar to what we saw on the very last, uh, on the profile for ourselves, is the carries profile, you're gonna have a verified profile information screen. So you can go in here and you can check your salutation, make sure you have the first and last name, any details that you maybe did or didn't remember. We chose not to enter a lot of these extra details just because we were not, not wanting to for time's sake. And you can again, last chance, but previous, or you can go ahead and hit save. And now that you hit save, the great thing is you really know you did a great job um, because you start to see all of the different things you can now do with your team populate over here on the side. So I'll talk a little bit more about what we do once you have a team together in the next video. And thanks a lot, guys. Hope to see you again soon. Visit our YouTube channel if you want to get more tips and tricks on.